Welcome back to another video. While applying for a job along with your letter of application, you need to produce your resume or curriculum vitae. So how do we frame this CV or curriculum vitae, also called resume, also called biodata? It may look complicated, but once you get the idea and the format, it is simple. It is very easy. This is just like one of those forms that you fill up at the bank while opening your bank account. The first thing is to make a clean, neat border, a box, and get to the middle line and head it with resume or curriculum vitae. And the five points that you have to remember are your personal details, your educational qualification, professional qualification, your uh, work experience, and uh, referee, the names of the people who are referring you for the job. Whom people can contact to check out the authenticity of the details that you've produced. Under personal details, you put in your personal information as in name, your father's name, your mother's name, your present or permanent address, and your contact number. So basically, personal details like the name suggests, it's all about your personal information. These things that we've mentioned here and more if you want to add. Under educational qualification and professional qualification, you need to frame tables where you put in the degree or the certificate that you have along with you. Under experience, you mention where you worked at, which year you worked there, holding what post and why did you quit the job. If you don't write why you quit the job, they might just assume that they fired you. So there is high chances that if you are fired from a job, people wouldn't hire you. So under personal details, we have mentioned that our name is Henry Katso. Our father's name will be Steve Katso, mother's name Mary Katso, and the address is KAK Building, Kohima. And we have put in our contact number. Educational qualification, we have put in our HSLC, HSSLC, and BA in Economics. Class 10, you got second div. Class 12, you got a little better, you got first div. BA, you got so good, you got first class. Under professional qualification, we are putting in BCA and MBA. Let's say you worked at the Indicom Private Limited as salesperson from 2008 to 2017 and left due to domestic problem. For referee, Let's put in the manager of Indicom Private Limited. If they have doubts on any of the details that you mentioned, they can call up Mr. S. Pradhan, who is the manager of the previous company that you worked at, to check out if it's true. So, that is it. Normally, in resumes like this, people put in their passports just by the side of that personal details to, uh, for verification. You know, very soon you will be applying for jobs here and there. After passing class 12, you'll be going out to MBA for about like three years and then you will be job hunting. So, you have to put in your achievements in a resume like this and then you have to produce along with your application letter. Like I told you, it looks complicated, but it's simple as that. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something.